And Sophie, we're here with Heart State Arts. I believe we have a patient, Joey Gonzalez. Oh, yes. Okay, Joey, he can take visitors today. Okay, I'll just need to awesome. check y'all's temperature and make sure that y'all haven't had any COVID 19 symptoms in the last 24 hours. No problem. No, no. Okay, great. Okay, y'all are good to go. And he's the last all the way down all on good. the right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, sanitize your hands. Uh, hey Joy, I'm Drake. This is Sophie. We're from Hearts Need Art. So, uh, do you know what Hearts Need Art is? Uh, no, but my friends have told me about it. I spoke on the phone with your friends earlier, and they mentioned you used to be in the band. Uh, yeah, right before I got here, but I'm kind of out of scene. Yeah, I mean, uh, you were in the band. What type of music did you listen to before? I listen I mean, to like, do you still listen to music in here? Yeah, I listen to like classic rock, like the 80s. Oh, uh, nice, like Rolling Stones, Smiths, stuff like that? Yeah, that's what it's all about. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, I'm glad you're still into that because I was thinking, I mean, you were in the band high school, maybe like jam out real quick. Yeah, I'm a little rusty jump? though. That's all I really got now. Ah, uh, come on, you got more than that. Let's put, let's put some pep in it. Got it. You still got it. Yeah, it felt, it felt good to be back. Man, I'm, I mean, I'm glad that I'm glad that you were able to do that, get some of that out. I mean, it must be frustrating being in here. I mean, I'd be happy to come back maybe tomorrow with uh, my guitar. We could bust down a rhyme, bust, oh, yeah. bust down a little something, maybe write something out. Yeah, that'd be fun. You down to play some Scrabble? I mean, we got this Scrabble right here. If we want to flatten this bed out, we can get some games in. <laughs> it's a paper airplane. <laughs> it's a boat. I don't know what this is. <laughs> and so then I look at the guy and I tell him, we're not scuba diving in the Himalayas. <laughs> hey guys, sorry, but um, visiting hours are actually over. I think two are not the fun. They are always welcome to come back tomorrow. Awesome. No, it's totally fine. We were just wrapping things up here. Alright, great. See y'all later. Have a good day. Well, Joey, this was a lot of fun, I gotta say. I appreciate that one, Drake. Thank you. Uh, so is it alright if we come back tomorrow? I have, uh, have a couple of instruments I'd like to bring by. Yeah, that would be great. I, I enjoyed the, you guys coming by today. Thank you. Awesome. No problem. We will be back as soon as we can. Yeah. Alright, Joey. I'll see you later. Uh, take it easy in here, alright? Thank you. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for letting us go. Hey man, uh, I followed your advice about the Harsney Arts, and they were they were a real joy. I haven't had this much fun in a long time, so thank you for giving me the chance to do this with Drake and Sophie. Bye. Have a good day. I miss you. Hearts Need Art is an amazing nonprofit program that helps patients in hospitals have some comfort about their situation. They work with musicians, artists, and many other forms of artists to bring some amazing art to the hearts of patients all around the San Antonio area. Their mission is to create moments of joy, self-expression, and connection for those facing life-altering health challenges through arts engagement, advocacy, and innovation.
Before COVID hit, Hearts Need Art partnered with hospitals to allow their artists to travel on the hospital floors to bring happiness and hope to patients' rooms. This worked really well for those patients that weren't allowed to leave their floor or really have any social interaction while receiving treatment. Activities include group art sessions, corridor concerts, and bedside art, music, and writing. This helps with reducing feelings of anxiety, depression, and isolation in patients. I did art for my own mental health because uh, I have a disease called multiple sclerosis, and that's something that's affected me as a whole, as a person. So. Coming into Hearts Need Art, I sort of um, already knew kind of um, what kind of ideas I wanted to bring uh, because the arts have benefited me so much. I wanted to be able to bring that back to other people so that they can experience, hopefully experience something that I've experienced with the arts. When COVID took over our country, Hearts Need Art came face to face with conflict. Because of Corona, visitors were no longer allowed in hospitals, which included the artists that partnered with Hearts Need Art. Since the beginning of the pandemic, they started hosting Zoom calls so that they could continue to reach their patients and help them focus on things rather than COVID and having to stay in the hospital. So they get a free arts lesson um, if they're a patient of any kind. So they don't have to just have, be cancer patients. If they're a patient of any kind, they can come to me and we can work on like maybe a small project um, or we can work on something a little bit bigger that may, that may take a few more sessions. This allowed patients to continue to be able to have a creative outlet and social connection, even though they weren't allowed visitors. The facts speak for themselves when it comes to how much hearts need art really helps their patients. Their vision is the universal accessibility of arts engagement to help everyone feel seen, heard, and loved while facing life-altering health challenges.